Over the past five years, the 11th Hour Sustainability Prize has become one of the most important categories of the annual World Sailing Awards. Last October, that honour went to Green Boats, a German boat builder founded a decade ago by Friedrich Daimann. When I was uh, 10 years old, I started sailing and I was so impressed about boats, I decided very quickly to become a boat builder. But what I just didn't like at all was the material itself because the glass and the carbon fiber, they are like really itchy in your skin. And the resin systems are so unhealthy. I did a lot of research to find ways to combine the best of these two worlds, of this wooden boat building and this composite world. I found these materials like the flex fiber and bio-based resin systems which you can process in the same way from the composite industry. In 2013, I founded the company Greenboat. We develop technologies that enable us to build boats from natural fiber without losing performance and with the possibility to lower the footprint um, of, your, of the product. From their base in Bremen, Green Boats are pioneering the construction of boats using sustainable materials. In 2020, they released their groundbreaking day sailor, the Flax 27, built using natural products instead of carbon fiber. Starting with the Flax 27, uh, where we showcase that it is possible to replace glass fiber reinforced composites. So the Flex 27 is 200% built from natural fiber. It's even 10% lighter than a normal GRP boat and got a beautiful aesthetic. The success of the Flex 27 attracted the attention of Boris Herman. The German skipper decided to replace 50 carbon fiber parts on his Imoka Militia with Green Boats technology. A decision which is undergoing the ultimate sea trial as the boat takes part in this year's ocean race. He was really, really interested in the material and, and, and in the boat and so we, we talked more and more about what can we do on, on the new Imoka out of these materials and on top of that the Imoka class changed their class rules and enabled 100 kilograms of sustainable material on board. Then it got really important to really showcase what our material can do in one of the harshest environments sailing can offer at this pinnacle event of the sport. So we worked closely with the team, developed different hatches and brackets for instruments and floorboards and reduced the carbon footprint of the boat itself. The Green Boats factory is now teeming with talented designers and skillful boat builders following their founder's vision. The ethos of the company is really built on craftsmanship and I believe a lot of the innovation and ideas are really coming from very talented craftsmen who with all these abilities and can create these beautiful products. We have one side is the workshop, the other side is the office and R&Ds and this is really motivating. You're coming out of the office, you just build a 3D model of something, you have some plans, give it into the workshop and then two weeks later you see the finished product and that's really amazing about what we're doing here. Last October's Sustainability Award came with a $10,000 check, which we put towards further research and development within the company to help them create greener boats for the future. We were sitting here with the team looking the show and um, award is always exciting because you never know if you get it. And then we got it and it was amazing because uh, it's winning an award. It gives us uh, more credibility in what we're doing. Uh, you have to imagine just a couple of years ago, people still viewed us mainly as a charitable project. And with this kind of award, of course, we get recognition. And also all the classes get encouraged to take action in making their products more sustainable. There are so many fiberglass boats out there at the moment, and they are still produced in fiberglass. And there's a solution now. So I think helping with this transition and offering services to everyone who is interested, I think that's our biggest impact we can have for the sport. The future of green boats will look like that we continue the development of our materials and technologies and that we make the material accessible for the marine industry and beyond. <laughs>